Alright, hope everybody's had a great Sunday. And normally I have my video recorded by now, but I watched some football and fell asleep, and I really needed that sleep. And my gosh, the stamp show this weekend was absolutely amazing. There are a few more vendors this time, and it really w paid off. It, it was really amazing. I won a door prize. I got some stuff in the free box. I found some autographs. And even before that, I got this huge box. So the stamp show didn't start till 10 o'clock, and I went to the Goodwill bins. And I found an, a giant box of postcards. I'm not sure that the postcards were in this box, but um, I grabbed every one that I could. I threw back all the most of the ones that are writing on it. But I found all of those postcards and some little collector books and stuff there too. And so that'll give me a lot more um, um, fuel for my project. That is great. And I got this nice box. I'll clean up that sticker on the side there. So that was really cool. One of those adjustable boxes. Because I needed some more postcard storage. And that is really cool. Um, so the stamp show. I wished I had the forms to, to show you. Or the little flyer here. I might show that at the end of the video here. Because I don't have that right now. And... Um, I went in there and I saw I got there a little late because the the goodwill took a little long time to get out of there because I had to sort through things to get out of there and that, and that might be another video that's a lot of interesting cool stuff including a Bible from the 1860s or maybe it even before that but it was a uh, uh, pencil or uh, written in with a pen with a date of 1869 in there all in German so anyway let's get into what I got at the stamp show so at the stamp show they gave you a ticket for a door prize and guess what I won um, this is the second time that I've won a door prize and I got this 1996 Atlanta Centennial Olympic Games. Most people said the best thing you could do with it, it's got a Scott catalog of $14, but most of the vendors and said, you know, that's cool, I just basically use those as stamps on letters. And that's what a lot of people are doing these days. In fact, there were a lot of guys with face value postage, and sometimes if you bought enough, you got discounts. And I got a little bit of discount on some postage. So that's very, very cool to have this. I didn't grab the most expensive one, I just, you know, grabbed something that I wouldn't feel so bad to uh, to uh, dismantle and put into because uh, I don't think I need this for my book so I just wanted something that I could you know and don't feel bad because the stamps are just not rare and then I I got one little bag here uh, just quickly show these these are just random stamps this is what we call face value stamps so these are like five cents a piece and four cents a piece so if you're looking for letters or books or, or stamp books or whatever that was a really really ideal cheap way to go this stamp here if I take this off of here uh, you would go to eBay and pay a dollar for that stamp and maybe maybe a dollar for shipping so that might be upwards of two dollars for that stamp and then there's hundreds of bozos that want to charge way more than that and this is only really technically worth four cents so that was really cool now let's get into the stuff two free items here and the free items are very cool I'm not sure how complete I'm gonna keep them uh, these were in three ring binders mind you so that was free and I got these ancient ancient first day cover albums you can see there's a 1955 Andrew W. Mellon stamp in there so if nothing else I may actually have the first day covers, but there were free stamps in there. So I can either choose to keep the stamps in there, or I can uh, spend them like actual stamps. And that was free, so I, I've got the little mounts to put the um, first day covers in. I got two of those. That was really cool. And he had some other albums in the free box, too. He just was giving stuff away, so that was really cool. Here's the other one here. And this one has first day covers in it. Uh, unfortunately, they have somebody's address on there. So I might either upgrade those, change those, or do something else with that. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with those. That was really, really massively cool to get those for free. I did buy, I spent a whole whopping 50 cents from that vendor and I gave him a dollar. And I said, because I'm going to grab some stuff for your free box. And he was okay with that. I mean, he really wanted to give me my change back. Um, so the really awesome stuff here. Oh my gosh. So there was stuff that was 10 cents, 25 cents. And I, most I spent on an item was $3 besides postage here. So I got this very, I'll go through very, very quickly here because already at four minutes. The Scottsburg Post Office, um, of Scottsburg, Oregon. So that's really cool. Custom that I guess this Ivan Hoyer might have made here. So that's cool. And then I got a um, uh, Salem, Oregon uh, first day of issue cover there. So that's really pretty neat. 50th, 150th anniversary of the Oregon Trail. And then I got Yahats Oregon with a very beautiful Yahats cancel. That might be an upgrade for me. I'm not sure. And then we got this Oregon Trail one. Another Oregon Trail one here. That's really pretty cool. Now, um, 
I did get a bunch of space stuff here, and this is just a quick little um, a quick little teaser. So this one says it's signed by the uh, station. It says Apollo 16 foreign track station uh, Turkey signed by station director. I don't know who that is, but second class air printed matter Apollo 16 from Turkey it looks like. And that was a whopping one dollar. There was a whole bunch of space covers for a dollar, which I forgot to get those, but I got some other ones to share with you here. Now I got three of these. They look like they were in an album here. And these are Heisel's Ideal Gum. Um, these are what they call Victorian trade cards. Um, they might be in some sort of card collecting um, guide somewhere, but there's Heisel's Ideal Gum, no back on it, and you can see where the glue was. These were a dollar a piece. I just thought, you know what, when do you get these kind of things, and there are two more. So, very, very unusual little advertising item there for a buck a piece. I mean, that's really pretty good deal there. They're not sports, and every once in a while you might find some... That's why I say go to stamp shows. You will never know what you're going to pay and what you're going to find. It's really a wealth of knowledge. Um, really, really should go sometime. This one is a 28th Annual Talent Harvest Festival of Talent Oregon, so I grabbed that one there. There is that one. Here's a book of 20... Uh, uh, 20 cent stamps for four dollars so there's that one there the ram's head one here this is really pretty cool here this is a this was 25 cents and the guy I bought so much from the vendor he said I'd just make it forty dollars I had some money that I had gotten out of the weekend so here's a 75 anniversary TT races I don't know why I grabbed this one but this is from the Isle of Man so the motorcycle theme that's pretty neat I didn't need that one now these are cool because the post offices um, in the old days used to uh, make blocks of force for customers and stuff like that and they would cut stamps so these are actual real stamps here that have all been destroyed by the physical post offices back in the day you'll find all kinds of sheets with obliterated stamps it's just absolutely insane what people did uh, back in the day so they basically destroyed stamps in the day and they did that on these sheets as well too I'm not necessarily going to keep these as collectibles I think I'm going to use them all as letters but still that was really kind of interesting that to, to see, I haven't seen that in quite a while. Uh, the destroyed stamps there. So these were all 10 cent stamps and they've just been cut. And there's some more up there. And then here's a book of 15 cent stamps, you know, for my postcards. Some people say it's a sacrilege to take these apart. But, you know, see, there, there they are. These have been since like that in the 70s. Really cool. And I would really love to use those. $2.20 of 10, or I mean, sorry, uh, 10 uh, 22 cent stamps. And there they are right there. So lots of flags. That's really cool. And then I bought this for $5.50. It's $6 worth of face of three cent stamps. And three cent stamps are the most common because that's what everybody used for 10, 15 years before they changed the, the price. Now this is really cool. This is some sort of, I don't know what it is. Um, it, I don't know what something that somebody made or whatever, but these are all real stamps on here. Real stamps. All these places have been crossed out here. It says Try USA. There's a cancel there. I think somebody made this. I'm not really sure, but I figured for a quarter. That is really pretty neat there. I like that Togo stamp. I've always liked that one. And then these have the addresses that have been pasted over. But in Memorial Costa Rica, I, this is some sort of fantasy cover. But it's uh, in, mor in, mor mor in memory of the victims of 9-11. Um, so there's that stamp there. That's kind of very cool. And then here's another one following here. So they had all kinds of 9-11 stamps. 25 cents a piece. That's crazy. These are, again, these are all, this is Madagascar. And they're all printed by the same company pretty much. So, I mean, I don't think these were even legit stamps. Somebody paid a lot of money for those at some point, And I got them for a quarter a piece. This is even really cool as well, too. This is, unfortunately, has been opened at the top here. But this is a uh, first day of issue Elizabeth II, the Queen. So that is really cool to have that one. I'm hoping everything's coming through on the screen pretty well here. That's really pretty nice. You can see the sun shining through that because it's later in the day. Packers are playing right now. And I just like this one here because it has a clock on it. This is out of Great Britain as well, I believe. Um, marine Timekeeper. So I thought that was really cool to have that one there. And again, it's put out by Fleetwood, so it's not a super valuable one, but a very well presented one on a very unusual sized envelope. That other binder, I did not grab that. He said, take the whole box, and, and that would have fit some of those first day covers, unfortunately. Now, here's where the craziness begins. Um, so I mentioned those space envelopes, one I bought for a dollar that was signed by a station director. 
Okay, well, he had another one behind him that said autographed, and I said, okay, it's going to be overpriced autographs of station directors and people I've never even heard of and this sort of thing, and I could have bought the whole blasted thing, but I decided not to because, as you know, in autograph collecting, there could be auto pens and secretarials and that sort of thing. I had to watch what I was doing here, but these were three dollars a piece, so... This is a NASA space shuttle um, envelope signed by Michael Baker, pilot of STS-43. How insane is that? Three dollars! I mean, Jeffrey Kite is going to uh, flip when he sees this video. This is absolutely insane. Okay, that's number one. Somebody has nicely written down who they were. <clears throat> so this one says it's Curtis Brown, I think Jr., uh, STS-47 and a few other things here. And there's another first day of issue out of Pasadena, California. The envelopes I'm not so interested in because they're just kind of blah. And people were putting autographs right in here. In fact, that might even say autograph right there. Uh, some of them do, I think. Um, but that's... Uh, so I did not think I had Curtis Brown, um, if that's who that is. Then this one says uh, Nancy J. Sh Sherlock. And I think she became Nancy Curry, but there's Nancy Sherlock, and it's stamped Endeavor right there. It says Nancy Sherlock. I'm not 100% sure if that's legit or if that's a... Uh, the other thing is that some of the autographs were turning yellow, which is very unweird. And it might be this kind of plastic um, with a pen. I don't know. Or, I mean, and the uh, coming through. I didn't grab any of those. This one here is... Uh, let's see. Eugene... Uh, Trin. I don't think I have Eugene Trin. STS-50. It looks like that most of these envelopes date back to the, the early 90s. And that maybe... See, it says autograph of. That's very, very unusual. I don't understand that particular envelope there. And then Eugene Trin, um, if that's his signature right there. Um, so that's why I said, even at $3, I was very, very careful. Um, but some of these, I do know their signatures. This one's Carl Mead here, Atlantis. So this is an older envelope from 1982. It looks like it says 60... Oh, actually, you know what? It actually says 1962. But somebody's taken a 1962 envelope and put an Atlantis stamp there. So that's a custom that they made with Carl Mead on it. And so this one was cool. Uh, this one is Mame... I'm sorry, oh man, Mori. Uh, I'm not sure if this was a foreign Memor Memoru Mori. And right there, and kind of a fading Sharpie there. I'm not really sure. Some sort of um, flare pen or something like that. I don't really know that one there. Not sure. There's that one there. Then we have, they get better here. This is Chuck Yeager. I hope this is a real Chuck Yeager, but it says Aviation Chuck Yeager, World War II Ace Test Pilot. Sight feathering on Chuck label. I'm not sure what that says there. Oh, slight feathering on Chuck right there. And then it says label covering up address worthwhile autograph. And then WPH says $50. That was $3 for Chuck Yeager's autograph. That is absolutely insane. If, if anybody knows what Chuck Yeager's autograph looks like, that is absolutely crazy. Three bucks. Again, I could have bought more. I had... I don't want to say what I had with me. This one here, I had to always be careful because, again, you have people that are auto pens and, and uh, that sort of thing. So this is Hart. What is this? T uh, TG Hart. I guess escapes me right now. I don't know TG Hart, so I have to look up and see if that is a, a secretarial or whatever, or, a, I mean, an auto pen. Um, most of those look pretty good there. Um, and they've been pretty good signers throughout the years. Skylab Rendezvous and Docking. And we got, and it gets better here. Here's Ed Gibson. I know Ed Gibson's autograph, and that probably is right there. Um, Skylab Third Man Launch. I mean, another person, Zane Savage, would probably just go nuts. He would have brought every one of them, auto pen or otherwise. Because some of the old auto pens have a couple, somebody says ten plus dollars in value. And that might have been just for the cover. I do not know. We're getting there. Then we got Ed Gibson and Bill Pogue. That is absolutely insane. Skylab. Wow, what the heck? It was in somebody's album here because the corners there have left fade marks there. We're almost at the 15 minute mark. We actually are now. Then we got this one here. Um, Owen Garriott. 
and Jack Lusma. I don't know if I had Garriott, but I have Lusma. And I'm pretty sure, I, I again, I just don't know. I just don't know about signatures here. You have to let me know. I might have to do some high quality scans after the video. And the last one is uh, James uh, 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 James McDevitt. Uh, McDevitt. So that is for Gemini. Oh, I cannot believe how insanely awesome I was. I was the only one that were looking at these autographs. I picked out the best ones. There were lots and lots of astronauts that sell for ten, fifteen, twenty dollars a piece, and three dollars a piece. I should have bought them all. And the guy gave me a deal. I cannot believe that. Amazing, amazing stamp show. I suggest if you ever get to a stamp show, go to one because it just absolutely will blow your mind of all the cool stuff. You may not always get cool deals, and some of the dealers will be strict Beckett. They'll be like um, national prices. But these guys wanted to get rid of stuff. The guy just cleaned out his garage and had room for to park his car now. That's the, the common theme in there. Hope you enjoyed that. And thank you for watching an amazing, huge NASA day.